there, my name is Megan and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about my most anticipated July book releases. But before we go ahead and jump on into the new releases, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well as giving this video a like to show my channel a little support. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into the books. The first one is The Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst. I have read one of her books, which is Race the Sands. I do have a full review for that book. If you guys are interested in checking it out, I will link it up in the cards. But Sarah Beth Durst is really good about writing standalone fantasy, and this book has been described as like a cozy fantasy with romance in it. But in this book, we are following a girl named Kila, I think is how you pronounce the name, and she is a librarian for this empire known as Elysium, and she spends all of her time kind of sequestered away, preserving knowledge for the elite of this empire, and her only companion is a pet spider plant known as Kaz. When the empire ends up in a revolution and at war with each other, Kila and her spider plant, Kaz, flee with as many spell books as they can manage and they flee back to where Keela grew up which is this remote island and she returns home only to find that a random new neighbor has moved into her childhood home a man and he's incredibly nosy and she has no clue who this stranger is now that Keela is no longer employed she needs an income so using a secret magic recipe out of one of the spell books she brought with her, she ends up creating this jam from the berries in her yard and then sells it to the local bakery. Kayla decides to take this one step further and uses unsanctioned magic in order to open the island's first ever spell shop. But as you can imagine, opening a spell shop might have some unintended consequences. So we are following Keela as she enters this new venture, as well as a budding romance between her and I'm assuming the new neighbor next door. The spell shop comes out on July 9th. Next we have The Sky on Fire by Jen Lyons, and this is another adult standalone fantasy, which is really cool. And this is a story centered on dragons. In this book, we are following a character named Anarod, and Anarod lives in the deep, these really, really dense jungles away from civilization, and her only companion is a drake. Unfortunately, Anarod does have a secret past, and one day, an adventuring party saves her from capture by the local warlord. Unfortunately, this was no random rescue. The misfits who rescued Anarod actually have ulterior motives, and they need her to help them steal a dragon's horde from this city that exists in the sky. This cloud city is ruled by dragons, and the horde is currently ruled by the regent, which wants Anarod dead. Expected release date is July 9th. Next, we have The Treasured One by Hannah Levin, and this is a new romanticy. We are following a character named Avery. Avery is known as a golden child, and she has the gift of healing anybody from any illness and any injury. She lives a very sheltered life, performing her duties loyally, but she does dream of freedom and the outside world. One day, her powers go awry, which ends up threatening her health as well as her relationship with the people she's employed by. Avery decides to flee in search of answers for why her powers are suddenly not working the way they're supposed to, and this leads her to this realm that is ruled by the Fae. The Fae prince named Ryle or Real uh, decides to kind of take Avery under his wing and teach her about her magic, and they end up being drawn romantically to each other. Just as Avery begins to unlock the full potential of her magical abilities, a betrayal shakes Riel's house, putting a strain on the relationship between the humans and the Fae. Avery and Riel then have to decide exactly how to navigate this betrayal as they decide which side they are actually loyal to, if they should work together, or even if they can trust each other, and exactly what these feelings that they've developed between them actually mean. Expected release date for The Treasured One is July 9th. Then we have a sci-fi slash speculative type fiction book called This Great Hemisphere, and this is by Matteo Ascarapur. Please forgive me if I'm pronouncing that name incorrectly. In this book, we're following a character whose name is Sweetmint, and she was born invisible at birth, and because of this, she has been rated a second-class citizen, but despite this, she has made something of herself. She went to school, university, and has even secured an apprenticeship with a very renowned inventor. 
Sweetman's older brother has been missing for many years and presumed dead. And one day she learns that he has actually been accused of being the catalyst in this really high stakes political murder, which means that the brother is actually not dead, but he's on the run as an accused man. As a manhunt ensues, Sweetman decides to set off on her own to find her brother and bring justice to the situation. Expected publication date is July 9th. The next book is The Spice Gate. This is a new fantasy book, and please forgive me if I'm pronouncing the name of the author wrong. I'm going to read it to make sure that I'm trying to pronounce it correctly, but this book is written by Prashant. Sridvatsa. This is a debut book and in this world we are following a character named Amir and Amir has this special ability to travel between eight different kingdoms in this world. The Spice Gate is actually the relic of these ancient gods and they connect these eight worlds together. Each kingdom is separated by a unique spice and only those with a special mark can enter these kingdoms. The people that can travel between these kingdoms are known as spice carriers, and despite their abilities, they are often used and exploited by other people because of this ability. Amir is a spice carrier, and he dreams of freedom. He's tired of being a mule for his masters, bringing spices back from all of these different worlds just for them to indulge in. More importantly than his own freedom is securing that of his brother. His brother was also born with this special mark and has not yet entered servitude, but he does not want this fate for his brother. But while Amir is planning his freedom, something is stirring between these eight kingdoms and he finds himself drawn into a conspiracy that could disrupt the delicate dynamics of these eight kingdoms forever. The Spice Gate sounds like a fun new fantasy and release date is July 16th. Okay, you guys, those are five new July releases that I am actually really excited for. All of these sound really fun, really cool, really interesting. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these yet, what you thought of them, if you guys were able to get like a NetGalley arc, or if you plan on reading any of these, or tell me what some of your most anticipated July releases are, and I will see you all in another video soon. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.